Hey guys, in part one of this two part series, we talked about the fitness tree and how to level up until around level intermediate, which is great to get all the health benefits and all the longevity benefits from your fitness journey. After you have nailed the basic cardio, the basic evolution of this is to do more cardio, obviously. And that is basically doing medium intensity cardio and sprints or high intensity interval training which will give you more health benefits more than just doing basic cardio now for the more fun stuff after you have been doing your basic workout for a while now you can start doing a little bit more you might want to get strong so you should take the power lifting route or you might want to do this crazy calisthenics moves that you see on instagram and tiktok then you take the calisthenics route or like me you want to build muscles or as much muscles as you can, then you take the bodybuilding route. Also, I wanna mention here that it's a misconception that taking the bodybuilding route will not make you strong. You will still get strong, but not as strong as taking the powerlifting route. And depending on your preference and your goals, you should build your workout based on your specific sports training. One important note here is to stick to what you chose for at least three to six months because at the end of the day, progress takes time. And this is a realistic time frame to see some meaningful progress. Otherwise, you will not see enough progress and you will get discouraged. Of course, you can mix and match any of these builds, but like any hybrid build, you might get B plus results in both of them. If that's what you want, then by all means, do it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just know that it might take longer than if you specialize in any of them. Now in the same levels, we need to take care of more recovery skills. The first skill I would recommend unlocking is injury prevention. Learning how to take care of your body and learning how to mitigate injuries. For example, using proper form and not ego lifting. And I would also recommend you to know how to manage injuries because it's inevitable and some people are just more prone to injuries than others. So it's better to know the skill now than later. And one of the most important skills that I would really recommend you to unlock is how to manage your stress. Especially if you're working full time like me, it's important to know how to manage your stress during the day. I usually manage my stress by taking more walks or taking breaks between meetings or doing the Pomodoro technique where I work for 30 minutes and then take five minutes break or 10 minutes break, however long you need. Stress hormones like cortisol are important, but when it's chronically elevated, it can become a really big problem. And it's really important to realize that recovery skills aren't just recovery skills. They will improve your performance as well. Now in the nutrition side, we have a lot of skills to unlock, but the skill set you've learned already to reach this intermediate level are more than enough for most of your specific purposes. If you already have unlocked the calorie counting skill, you have guesstimation skill, which basically means you're able to guesstimate how much calories the food you're eating have. So let's say you're going into a restaurant and you order something, just by looking at it, you can guesstimate how much calories does it have. And this will help you if you're dieting and you need to socialize. And going this path will open up the ultimate skill of intuitive eating, which basically means that you can just eat whenever you're hungry and stop eating when you are full. Because at the end of the day, our hunger hormones and satiety hormones are usually fucked up and you need to work on them and improve them to be able to unlock this skill. On the other hand, if you chose the calorie counting skill, you can unlock flexible dieting or as it's called in the fitness industry, if it fits your macros. And this just enables you to add more fun stuff to your diet. I mean, you know how much you eat and you know how much calories you're eating per day so you can just substitute something and add something fun. So for example, I'm currently dieting, but I'm not limiting myself to specific kind of foods. I'm eating whatever I want, because at the end of the day, I know how much calories I'm eating. And with this, you are set for a really long time and you can just level up these skills and continue leveling up in your fitness journey. But if you're feeling adventurous and you want to continue leveling up, then you can start unlocking the athlete mindset skill. And this will open up the skill of competing in one of the specializations that you already took before. Of course, you don't have to necessarily compete. You can also become a fitness enthusiast and just keep leveling up your skills this way, but it's an option if you feel like it. Or if you are satisfied, you can also maintain your gains and just focus on something else in your life. These end games skills are all optional it just adds a little bit of spice in your end game and it generally can add more renewed sense of purpose in your fitness journey just like when i decided to compete it just added a little bit of flavor in my fitness journey something new something to strive for a new goal a very hard goal to reach but it was really fun and i enjoyed the process now you might ask but do i need all of these skills 
These are a lot of skills that will take you years to unlock all of them. And the answer is no, you can specialize in some of them and just ignore some of them. I don't have everything unlocked, of course. I don't think anyone has, and it's totally fine that you just specialize in something and just keep unlocking these skills. So for example, the pass I took was the bodybuilding route. And for this route, if you want to follow a similar path, then you need to unlock some essential skills. You will need to unlock the cardio tree, the bodybuilding skill. And after that, you can choose either to compete or coach and help other people or just chill and maintain your gains and just focus on something else. Recovery wise, you will pretty much need all of them. They are so important and I can't stress this enough and not just for your fitness journey, but generally for everything in life. In the nutrition side, you will need the first two levels and whatever you decide to do, either going the intuitive eating route or the calorie counting, or you do both like I do sometimes. Sometimes I'm using calorie counting, especially when I'm dieting, and especially when I dieted for my competition, I needed to know how much exactly I'm eating per day. But if I'm casually dieting like now, I'm usually a bit more relaxed with the calorie counting. And especially if I'm trying to gain muscles, I'm usually just tracking my protein and just eating as much as I can in carbs and fats. I personally haven't unlocked the intuitive eating skill yet because I'm still recovering from my competition. It was really hard diet and my body didn't really recover from this and my hunger hormones are all over the place. And basically I can just eat until I vomit. So I, would, I wouldn't say that I have unlocked the intuitive eating skill yet. And generally competing is not a very healthy thing to do and it has a lot of eating disorder associated with it. So I'm not in a rush to uh, go back into doing something like this. So now I'm just taking it slow and trying to unlock this skill. As you can see, there are a lot of skills and it's quite exciting and there are a lot of things to learn. And that's exactly why I did this video. And when I started my fitness journey, I really wanted something like this and just give me an overview, of all the skills I want to learn. But this at the end of the day is your path and you need to choose your own skills and the path you take. I'm really curious to know about your fitness journey and your fitness level. So please write a comment below telling me all about it. And if you have any questions, I'm really happy to answer.